We begin with another night of unrest in West Michigan. Protests in Kalamazoo turned destructive overnight with multiple incidents of vandalism and property damage. 13 on your side's Angela Cunningham joins us from Kalamazoo. We are in the Kalamazoo Mall. This is where we are finding most of the damage, like the storefronts that you're seeing behind us. Most of it has been shattered glass that we're seeing. Now, if you want to take a look down here, you can see that um, it's not every single business that's kind of hit or miss. This business that we're walking up on has been boarded up. You can look inside, though, and you can see that this was also the victim of vandalism overnight. Now, I did speak with a friend um, of the owners of both of these businesses who told me that they had some inclination that maybe they should leave early, but they really didn't think things would escalate to the point where they needed to board up their businesses in advance. Of course, now we know that around 11 o'clock last night, things start to get very, very disturbing here in the city of Kalamazoo. Um, police called the perpetrators agitators. You see some video right now of things at the height of this. Uh, we are told or see some people getting arrested. We have not been able to confirm the number of arrests with the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety or whether or not there were any injuries. I can tell you that when we arrived out here um, early this morning, there was an extremely heavy police presence. Several roads leading to the downtown area were blocked off. Those barricades have since been removed, but I'm told that they could go back up. Um, as cleanup efforts began. Now we have seen people, volunteers out here this morning cleaning up with brooms in hand. Actually one was uh, someone who works for Congressman Fred Upton. She said that, you know, the community feels like this is their obligation to help out in times like this. Again, this is very disturbing to the people who live here in Kalamazoo. There is still police presence down here, not nearly as much as we saw earlier. I am told also that around 11 o'clock today, the city is planning a press conference to update both the public about what happened and to kind of break down all of the events of last night. And we hope to get some more information to share with you at that time. For now, we're going to send it back to you in studio. All right. Thank you, Angela.